the whole idea was to hold this in Youngstown, Ohio, because America Makes is here, and America Makes holds these symposia three or four times a year, and they bring in two to 400 people each time. Those are all people that the NFL does not know, and they are all people that may help us develop this revolutionary helmet. So seeing all those people was a fulfillment of what the thought process was of having this symposium in Youngstown. Because of America Makes, because of Youngstown State University and its emphasis on additive manufacturing and the small to medium companies here in the, in the valley that are uh, providing additive manufacturing. I know a lot of people across the nation when they think of additive manufacturing or 3D printing, they really think of little desktop printers and trinkets that you get or, or you can see it at toy stores. And what we're doing with additive is just, ex I mean, it's expanding so much. So from when we started in 2012, it was mainly thought of as aerospace and small printers. And now we've got massive industrial sized machines. We've got parts flying on airplanes. Medical industry has taken over and automotive as well. And so just being able to have the nation associate and understand that additive is not just aerospace or additive is not just desktop printers and that it can be a useful technology that can be integrated in something as something that's so important as a helmet it is just extremely important. Additive manufacturing brings into dimension for customization. We've seen that helmets can be tailored to the shape and fit of an individual player. I think we also can see that new materials can be brought in through additive manufacturing. And finally, you can do advanced analytics and you can sort of customize like the lattice structure for particular types of impacts. Rather than using a uniform material all around the helmet, you can do very localized customizations to tailor what sort of impacts are occurring on field and prevent and minimize the injury in those situations. We feel like our design was a fundamental change and, and step forward and that it, it wasn't a traditional design. Traditional designs are like cars from the 50s and 60s. They had a very rigid outer shell. Ours actually has a shell that deforms or yields like a car bumper and we have a multi-layered design all engineered to work together. So I, I view this contest as a way to make Maybe look for the next generation, the, the helmet that can beat Vices, in fact, since we've been number one in NFL testing each for the last three years. Yeah, it's an exciting time to be in the space overall, whether you're a manufacturer such as ourselves, uh, an innovator, material scientist, researcher, uh, or a league like the NFL, right, who is facilitating this challenge and, and putting some pretty interesting uh, incentives out there into the marketplace to help stimulate uh, different advancements and innovations. So it's a really exciting time to be here and to be in this environment and to be a, a thought leader in the space to continue to, to move progress forward and, and make the best product that we can for the athlete on the field. If we were sitting here in 2025 and you were looking at the players uh, and the helmets you're wearing on field, I think they're going to look very different than the ones that you see today. And you've already begun to see that over the last couple of years. I think you're going to see players wearing uh, helmets specifically designed for their position. You're going to see offensive linemen wearing different looking helmets than the ones that wide receivers and cornerbacks wear simply because the nature of their jobs is different. The nature of the impacts that they experience are different. The frequency of those impacts are different. And I think you're going to see new materials, potentially new designs, new structures. It may be the case that the helmets are going to look differently than the ones that you see on field today. And all in the interest of player safety and improving that. Well, if you needed validation to the outside world that we really have turned Youngstown into the epicenter of additive manufacturing in North America, this is truly proof. Uh, the expertise that America makes and the YSU and YBI um, and the rest of Northeast Ohio really is shining at this moment as they look to that technology as part of a larger solution for player safety. 717 Credit Union, a community-minded partner to help you succeed. Business loans, business checking, and business money market and certificates. 717 Credit Union, we're a local business too.